Hi! What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon. I'm a marine biologist and an artist, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my experiences with the ocean and its creatures with you. It is my goal to raise awareness about our beautiful bodies of water and the animals that live in them. If you are new, welcome! Nature Meets Paper is a place for everyone to learn about aquatic creatures through science, stories, and art. It is so good to see you. Happy New Year! Yes, I am back. I know I took a break. So, where have I been? I typically set up my schedule all in advance during the summer. This means that I have roughly 30 episodes in mind in the beginning of summer and then I can work my way through it. This year went a little bit differently. I only set up about 11 weeks of content. This season I wanted to focus on some of my animals in my home water. I live in the Washington State and so it's home to the Puget Sound and the North Pacific Ocean. These fish, although they may not be the prettiest fish, they're also very interesting and they're important for our ecosystem. I wanted to help my community know all about these animals that live in our backyard. I have featured animals in Hawaii, New Zealand, and the Arctic, and help those people know what's in their backyards. So I stopped and thought for a second, I was like, hey, I haven't really done anything in my backyard. This season, and a, po a portion of my species to the Puget Sound and the North Pacific Ocean. I will still have a few tropical fish thrown in here and there, because they're beautiful. I hope you enjoy this season. I have it all put together. I have all 30 species lined up now, and we're ready to roll. But enough of that. Let's get into today's episode. Today we're going to be discovering the Blue Spotted Grouper. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The Cephalophilus aegis are commonly known as the Blue Spotted Grouper, Peacock Grouper, Celestial Grouper, or the Roy. It gets its name Aegis from the Greek monster Argus, or the Hundred Staring Eyes. It is found in the Indo-Pacific Ocean from the Red Sea, East Africa, North Australia, up to the coast of Japan, and into Hawaii. This fish was introduced into Hawaiian waters in the 1950s as a sport fish. It was thought that it would look so good that it would draw tourism to catch this beautiful fish. Now I know a few of you are yelling at the screen, No! Don't be stupid! That will ruin the ecosystem! If that is you, you know your Earth history. It is typically not a good thing to enter a top predator into an ecosystem. Let me know why in the comment section below. I will be referring to this fish as Roy or Blue Spotted Grouper in this episode. They live in outward reef habitat from 1 to 40 meters deep. They average between 1 and 15 meters deep. Juveniles tend to spend their time in the reef shallows and lagoons. They are hardy fish that live in the benthopelagic or benthic habitat. This might be new terminology for you. The pelagic is the mid-water region of a body of water, and the benthic habitat is the bottom of the water column where it meets the substrate. So. Benthopelagic is the place just above the ocean floor. Now that we know the habitat range and have an introduction to the Roy, let's discover what the Roy looks like. The blue spotted grouper is a ray finned fish. Since it is a grouper, it has a grouper body shape. This is a round, elongated body with big mouth and lips, small eyes, and rounded fins. This fish grows to lengths of 60 centimeters or 23 inches, but averages around 40 centimeters or 15.7 inches in total length. This fish has a brownish to dark gray body. It is covered in iridescent blue spots with light centers. As the fish grows, there is an addition to the body pattern. This fish grows four to five light yellow to tan colored vertical stripes that appear past the pectoral fins. This fish has rounded dorsal and anal fins and rounded caudal peduncle or tail fin. The leading edge of the dorsal fin has a few dorsal spines connected by rays. The Roy has a huge mouth with big lips. 
this mouth can expand and create a vacuum to pull fish in. The lower jaw extends below the upper jaw, giving the fish an underbite. Its eyes are high on the body and very small. Blue spotted groupers are extremely territorial. Males have territories in the reefs that is inhabited by several females, known as a harem. This male will patrol his area protecting the female mates. He will greet each one of his mates every day, making sure they are healthy and happy. He will greet them by raising his dorsal fin and she will greet him in the same manner. If another male enters his territory, things mean business. He needs to protect his territory in a fierce battle of color. That is known as a color war. The males can change their color intensity on command. They will create right angles to each other. This way, the fish can see the other fish's patterns and colors. They will shine their brightest blues and darkest bodies. Whoever has the brightest color wins the territory. If the war ends in a draw or the loser is adamant on keeping his territory, it turns to a battle of strength. Typically, the loser will leave and turn a pale yellow color. They will not show any color and retreat from the area. Wow, what an exciting fish. I love it. I love it when I run across an incredible and interesting animal. It makes the story so much better. Let's figure out what the blue spot grouper eats and how it's doing. The blue spot grouper is a carnivore. It eats other fish and occasionally crustaceans. They primarily eat parrotfish, surgeonfish, and other small reef fishes. Groupers lie motionless in the water column or near the substrate waiting for a fish to enter its kill zone. It then lunges at the fish and opens its huge mouth creating a vacuum to slurp up the unsuspecting fish. Unfortunately, it eats fish that keep the reef healthy and clean. Parrotfish eat algae off the coral and keep them clean. If the grouper eats too much, the reef will get dirty and won't thrive as well. Here is the best part. In Hawaii, nothing eats Roy. The IUCN red list has the blue spot grouper as least concern. This is great news. Unfortunately, we don't want a strong population in Hawaii. There are events that people can attend known as Roy Roundups. All spear fishermen, fishermen, and divers are called to catch these fish. This fish is used in the aquarium trade and for commercial fishing. But here is a warning to you. Do not eat this fish. It relates to ciguatera toxins. This toxin builds up in the body and can't be expelled. It causes health or immune issues until the point of death if too much is consumed. Now, before I scare you all beyond the point of never entering the ocean again, let's get into the personal story segment of this video. What was my interaction with the blue spot grouper? I have never seen this fish before. What kind of fish is it and why is it striped and spotted? It looks like it couldn't make up its mind. Luckily, a lovely female aquarium staff was there to help me out. She said it was a blue spotted grouper. She told me they are fascinating fish and they are invasive. She recommended that I take a photo so that I can feature this fish. I did just as she asked. This fish was close to the bottom of the encounter. It didn't move very often, but it did swim up to other fish if they did get too close. I love the patterns and the bright colors. I didn't know just how interesting this animal would be. I love when I found out some new interesting facts about fish. Sometimes there is too little information or the fish doesn't do anything special. This makes it hard to write about a fish and keep it interesting for you in those cases. But this fish is crazy. It is colorful, invasive, has a cool story, and is easily accessible. I am taking a lot of your time, and I will call this adventure finished. Thanks so much for watching. If you think that I deserve it, 
click subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. I do my best to post every single weekend, but sometimes life gets in the way or a painting is too detailed to finish in a week. If you want to support my channel, you can purchase the art. I sell my art in the forms of originals and museum quality prints. Originals will run you $12 a linear inch. Limited edition prints will run you $6 per linear inch. And unlimited will be $3 per linear inch. This means that the price varies by size rather than time or effort or detail that I put into the painting. Contact me if you're interested. If purchasing art is not your cup of tea, I also sell merchandise at teespring.com. I sell apparel, well, including t-shirts and leggings, and I can also design something new. Links are down below. If you still want something different, I have a Patreon page. I need to be better at posting on there, but I also have a Patreon page where you can support the channel so that I can buy my materials to keep this content running. Thanks for being a part of this community. Stay curious, be adventurous, and I will see you in our next adventure.